Jeez. Okay. Good, good morning. Good morning, Zoe. Ooh, good morning. How was your night? Uh, I've, I've had better. Um, never thought I'd miss my bed back in the village. Nice outfit, by the way. Um, noticed when we left the village a few days ago, but didn't feel like it was the right time to talk about wardrobe changes. <laughs> Considering you've talked about how much you prefer camping and sleeping in a tent to an actual bed, I find that comment surprising. And thanks. Didn't feel a dress was comfortable to travel in. Good point. Um, and I guess people change. Guess so. Uh, anyways, um, got any ideas on what we're gonna do today? Um... If I'm to be honest, uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, the innkeeper I talked to said that there was an academy we could check out, but not sure if we should go there right away. Why not? Oh, good morning, Lydia. Oh, morning. Uh, anyways. Oh, hi, hi Leo. Morning. Uh, Good morning, you two. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Nixie and I uh, were trying to figure out what we were going to do, uh, for where we're going to go from here. Uh, sorry if we woke you two up. Yeah. Oh, uh, don't worry, I usually wake up this early. Leo, well, not so much. Usually I'm having to drag him out of bed in the mornings. What? I love my sleep. Although, wasn't able to get comfortable after my watch was over. Guess I'm getting soft. <laughs> if you from a few years ago had heard you say that, you'd say you're getting soft. <laughs> True. Guess we got comfortable in Mizuki. Uh, Mizuki? That's the name of the village. No one told you? Um, no, not that I can recall anyways. Weird. Normally that's the first thing people are informed of. Eh, been a lot going on since you showed up, so I guess it slipped through everyone's minds to inform you. True. Uh, anyways, does everyone want to continue heading to Silver Cove and figure out where we go from there. Sure, might be a good idea to see what the town has to offer. Uh, might be able to open more trade routes with uh, the, their town and ours. I might see what shops the town has. Uh, need to replenish our supplies a bit. Went through more healing wraps and herbs than I thought we would. Damn bears. <laughs> Well, we wouldn't have had as many problems if my brother didn't keep bugging them. Hey, those were accidents. Everyone came out of the fight okay in the end. Uh, with more than a few scrapes, but yeah, everyone was fine in the end. <laughs> Good point. Uh, it, it, anyways, um, want to pack up camp and head out? Sure, I'll scout ahead just in case. Okay. Uh, Zoe, uh, want to help me out with the tent? Sure. Uh, I'll help get this fire, uh, and then help you guys with what's left. Okay, looks like it's not much further. I could be wrong. Um... Whoa, is that the academy? Uh, are you talking about that building? Giant building over there? Um, I think so. We can check that place later. The city's just up ahead. Don't know about you, but I get antsy whenever I'm out in the open for too long. Um, if I'm to be honest, same. <laughs> uh, let's get going.
like we made it. Wow. City's grown since the last time we were here. Huh, Lydia? Yeah. Although, I think it's more like that they're still in the process of expanding. Last time we were here, they were only halfway completed with the new wall. Uh, where are the shops? Uh, good, good question. Uh, I think it's just left of the guard station here. Uh, although I think this entire sector uh, is the main market. If you don't mind, I'll, I'll come with you. Uh, hey Nixie, I want to head out uh, to the pub to see if we can find any intel. Uh, sure, that's, that's fine by me. Uh, everyone knows the plan, right, to meet up at... Everyone knows uh, to meet up. Just at, just meet up at the pub later. Okay. Uh, looks like those two went off to, I guess, do some shopping. I don't know. Uh, do you know where this pub is? Uh, to our left. Uh, would make sense if it was close to the market. So when it's time to get off from work for the day, they they'd have a place to you know get a meal and stuff. Whether that meal is warm is up for debate. <laughs> got that right. Went into a pub one time, uh, wanting a hot meal, and all I got was a bowl of cold soup. Sounds about right. Uh, it's up to luck with that. You got that right. Uh, so you said it's this way? Hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, do you have a table available? Uh, just for the two of us now, but we have two more companions traveling with us that might join us at one point. Uh, well, I do have one uh, open upstairs. Uh, it's a big one located in front of the giant window just left of the stairs. Uh, okay, thank you, sir. Just get settled and I'll be up for your order. Alright, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I guess we're sitting over here. Um, anyway, okay, so how do you want to go about finding this information? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, normally I just go around asking the guards. No matter what ta what town, uh, the guards shoot sure do not like their- Hmm. That's a good question, uh, cause normally I just go around and ask the guards, uh, no matter of the town, uh, the guards sure do like their gossip. Heh, <laughs> that's a fact. There's several guards back home that, uh, when they're not out on patrol, gossip constantly. Half the stuff I don't know if it's even true, but hey, whatever hap- keeps them happy. <laughs> so I guess that's one place we can look. Oh, uh, hello. Looks like you're all settled in. What can I get you? Um, I'd like the meat stew with lemonade, please. Uh, Nixie? What? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I, I, I'd like the same thing, please. Not sure what our other two friends would want, but we'll be sure to call you when they show up. Uh, alrighty. I'll be back with those orders. Okay, thank you. Uh, no thanks. Now that food's settled, are you okay? Uh, what? Oh, uh, yeah, I I'm fine. Just feels like someone's staring at me. Well, we are in a pub. People are bound to look at newcomers. True, uh, but this feels a bit different. Like they're honed in on just me or something, if that makes sense. Hmm. Now that is different. Uh, anyways, do you know of any other ways to gather intel? Uh, personally, uh, if I'm being honest, I usually just stick to talking with the guards. Less of a hassle trying to not get mugged that way too. Hmm. Oh, look, there's Zoe and Leo. Hey you two, we're over here. 
Uh, oh hey, you too. I'm glad you're able to get your uh, food and stuff settled out. Um, so what'd you guys find? Well, I found most of the resources that I needed to replenish my supplies, so that's great. I also found a rumor about a creepy manor just west of the town. I also found that a couple of years back there was a person who had really strong healing magic at the academy, but then he just suddenly left one day and hasn't been seen since. Did anyone mention the paracolor of this individual? Um, white, I think? They were more concerned with talking about his healing powers. Hmm, maybe they're connected? I mean, I know we'd be on the road for more, or, yeah, for more, but we can try and find this person and see if they're either A, the person we're looking for, or B, can point us in the right direction of the person we're looking for. Hey, as long as we find the guy, I don't really care how long it takes. Same here. Uh, I mean, I've said this before, but I kind of owe going into my life, so I, if I could do anything to help wake up her husband, I'm willing to do so. Same, but we're still in the same predicament we were in before. Uh, still don't know where to go for the guy. Good point. Did you mention a creepy manor, Zoe? Uh, yeah, the person who told me said that whoever goes to explore it either hears creepy noises and possibly sees ghosts, and uh, then they come back scared out of their minds. Uh, I took it with a grain of salt because it sounded like the typical gossip you hear in any marketplace. Uh, I hate to change the subject, but did anyone notice that guy over there with the red eyes staring at Nixie? What? No? Although Nixie did mention earlier that she felt like there was someone constantly staring at her earlier. Wait, Leo, what are you doing? <laughs> Who are you? Answer me! Name's Orion. Yours? Oh, um, what is going on here? I don't appreciate customers who come in and pick fights with other customers. Sir, my brother here didn't mean to start anything. This guy's just been staring at my friend here since we sat down, and we're trying to figure out why. Leo, I think it's time for you to calm down. I apologize for how my brother acted towards you, sir still like an exclamation as to why you were staring at our friend here, though. Well, if something like this happens again, you best not come back. Um, guys, I, I, I really think we should de-escalate this, con this uh, confrontation. Um, Leo, I think you should... I'll gladly answer any and all your questions once your friend here lowers his sword. Start talking. Straight to the point. World needs more people like you. And you better have a good reason. It's personal. How so? You're the one making our friend uncomfortable. I don't wish to speak about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better start speaking about it, because I don't appreciate being stared at by a stranger 24-7. I really don't like talking about it. It's personal. <sighs> Guys, we're not getting anywhere with this guy. Why don't we get a couple of rooms in the inn and call it a night? Fine by me, but we'll be watching you, sir. Yeah, like a hawk. Don't come near our friend again. Ugh. That was an eventful afternoon, I should 
should say. Um, anyways. Okay, so I was able to get two rooms next to each other. Uh, now to figure out who's rooming with who. Well, I don't mind a room with Lydia. We are siblings, after all. Uh, as long as Lydia's okay with that? I'm cool with that. Uh, okay. Uh, well then, uh, Nixie, if you don't mind a room with me, uh, then that's solved. Um, sure, um, I'm, I'm fine with that arrangement, um, as long as you don't mind having Blaze here with us. Uh, jeez, um, I guess this is our room? Um, let me, here we go. Oh, looks like you two are settled in. So how's your, how'd your day go? Well, the part that I wasn't in, that is. Um, it went well, um, besides the part that that random guy was just staring at me the entire time we were at the table in the pub. Uh, I've also had this strange feeling that I'm being followed. What do you mean? Well, um, uh... Well, when, I, when, when, when we were finishing my house, uh, I was looking around the outside and everything, right? And then I found this random guy wearing a black, or who, a random guy who was wearing black head to toe. Uh, we then stared at each other for a couple minutes and then it was just like he teleported away in a black cloud of smoke. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely was unnerving. I may or may not have sprinted as fast as humanly possible back into my house. I anyway, I <laughs> uh, hope we can find more information on the guy we're looking for tomorrow. Uh, same here. Uh, good night. Um, uh, yeah, uh, night. I guess you're staying over there for the night, buddy? Okay. <laughs> 